Matt, are you encouraged that even if you're not going to have them this week, that Wyatt, you, you said it sounded like he was making some progress. Do you like your chances of maybe having him back by next week? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's a long time from now. Well, but you didn't, I mean, you could have put him on IR and you guys didn't, so yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the goal, but I mean, a lot has to happen between now and then. So I know he was, he's been moving around quite a bit. Um, it, it, I mean, he's walking normal, so he's been working out, running. So hopefully next week he'll be ready to go. I feel like the kicking operation is pretty smooth after this week of practice. Yeah, I think so. Is there, I mean, a short sure test that? will be on Sunday. Sunday. Nothing like finding out in the game. But I feel confident with it. I mean, he's kicked for 10 years in this league, so. Matt, what about for Wicks? How was his week? And just how did you like how he kind of approached practice? He's looking questionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, he's been getting better every day, so. Leaves the game and can't come back, though it's a concern. Has he gotten further along than you were anticipating? Were you ex expecting the worst after the game? Not really. I mean, um, you know, it's just how everybody recovers. And um, but, like I said, he's looking questionable. That, what, what is the anticipation like for Sunday, though, with the whole winter warning initiative? Obviously, the fan interaction, I think that comes along with uh, just being able to have that kind of atmosphere. Is that your uh, winter warning sweatshirt there, Wes? Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, so hopefully our fans embrace it. And I know the guys are excited about wearing the white uniforms and the white helmets. And um, it will definitely be a different look for us. But I think uh, hopefully everybody embraces it uh, and gets excited about it and shows up in white and is extremely loud for us because I do think the fans, especially the atmosphere here, can make a huge difference in the game, have a huge impact on the game, especially when we're on the defensive side of the ball. Just there was an effect last week, I thought, and, um, you know, both uh, all our home games have been a uh, true home field advantage. So hopefully everybody's in white and being very loud. Does that include you? Yeah, I'm always, I, I, I like to wear white. It's kind of my color, I guess. The weather's looking like winter. Huh? I know, right? Nothing like a winter warning with 70-degree weather. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Matt, I was, I was talking to Jordan yesterday about the idea of kind of, and I think we talked about it earlier in the week, the idea of him kind of maybe pushing boundaries a little bit and, and not always taking the check down, even if sometimes it's there, and the idea of him maybe pressing the envelope a little bit. When you look at him, he, I think he kind of said that it's part of the development of a quarterback. How is that part of his development? How is that working? Is that this is a flawed concept? You can just tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, I, you don't know what you're talking about, but I'll try to answer that as best I can. Um, you know, a lot of, I, I just think playing the position, it really comes down to situations as well like there's a lot of situational awareness in terms of when you need to press maybe and I never want a guy to f feel like he's f having to force it because usually that's when bad things happen I want him to read it true but there is an element of you know um, whether it's in a two-minute situation where you, you might need to be a little bit more I would say the w right word would be aggressive in your mindset and when you might put a ball in there in a tighter window versus um, you know, taking a, a check down. Situations, third down is a great example of when you might be a little bit more aggressive down the field. Um, he had a nice one in the game on the fourth and one where he fit that ball into Christian Watson. Um, still didn't think it was fourth and one. I thought that was fourth and two, but anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it, it, it is all, a lot of it is situationally based.